हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम गौरव मकवाना आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल बायोटेक गाइड इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वील गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ऑर्गन कल्चर वेर वील गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ दिस टेक्निक देन एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड मेन टेक्निक्स वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स ऑफ ऑर्गन कल्चर आर देर वील गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड लास्ट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ऑर्गन कल्चर सो टूडेज वीडियो गोइंग ऑन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लेवल Stay tuned with us and enjoying this video lecture. Let's start with first definition or principle. So basically, we'll memorize using three sentence. First, organ culture refers to about the method that involves growing organs or parts in in vitro condition then second to preserve their structure and function and also retaining some or all histological features of explant and third sentence uh, by providing liquid or gas interferes so we'll combine these three sentence organ culture refers a laboratory method that involves growing organs or parts of uh, or parts in in vitro condition that means outside of the laboratory to preserve the structure and function and also retaining some or all histological features uh, by providing at the liquid or gas interference okay so here uh, liquid or gas interference is a uh, grid or any kind of gel is used for the support so this is the basic principle behind this organ culture mainly cells remain fully differentiated and also normal physiological function are maintained that's why uh, this technique is very useful and this is the advantage of this technique but the disadvantage is uh, particular cells or interest may be in a very small number that's why a resonance is produced may be uh, with that resonance is difficult to detect and quantify so this is the disadvantage now we're going to discuss uh, techniques so basically four techniques are there first plasma clot method or watch glass method then second organ culture on agar or agar gel method also known as agar gel method other two sub techniques are there in this method raft method and grid method then third organ culture in liquid media and a fourth cyclic exposure to medium and gas phase so this four techniques are there we're we'll going to discuss one by one first plasma clot method dam owner fell and robinson introduced plasma clot substrate to originally for study development of a avian limb bone rudiment so this avian limb bone rudiment is the uh, bird leg skeleton part in this method mainly a uh, small piece uh, small piece of organ or a tissue is placed on the top of a plasma clot present in, in the watch glass here you can see in the image uh, one petri dish is there in uh, in this petri dish uh, cotton wool is placed and uh, on this cotton wool mainly one watch glass is placed inside the watch glass mainly medium mixture uh, five drops of embryo extract and 15 drops of a plasma is placed and above this mixture mainly expand is placed and uh, this whole assembly is mainly covered by to the uh, one lid so this is the plasma clot method assembly now advantage so basically no need of any extra equipment that's why this technique is inexpensive second is permits light microscope that's why is suitable to study hair growth fatal mouse skin differentiation then uh, disadvantages so basically uh, close condition may provide liquefaction so that may be harmful to explants and they become a immerse in the medium then uh, uh, not more durability is there only short duration of culture less than 4 weeks and third biochemical analysis is not possible due to uh, complexity of the medium second organ culture on agar as name suggest agar is a media component media consists mainly seven parts one part is 1% agar in a basal salt solution remaining three parts cheek embryo extract and other three parts is horse serum so we consider as 7 3 3 
basically this uh, technique is used for embryonic culture and no need of a mechanical support is required here media with agar serves as a good support this cultural technique again classified into two sub method raft method and a grid method we are going to discuss one by one first raft method so in this method first step is to prepared collagen or gelatin raft so matrix is uh, prepared and all to solidify form a graft like structure uh, to provide such scaffold for a cell to grow on then after uh, on this raft cell seeding uh, cell seeding that means uh, cells is typically like uh, keratinocytes or any uh, other epithelial cells are seeded on a top of the raft uh, which will uh, which will adhere to the matrix and begin to grow then after this prepared matrix uh, will uh, allow into the uh, cult uh, cultural petri dish which having a culture medium okay so the raft is floated on a liquid culture medium which provides nutrients and a growth factor to the cells then cultural condition will provide likewise uh, uh, control environment with a specific temperature humidity and a carbon dioxide level to promote the cell growth and a differentiation so here is a uh, assembly of this uh, raft method now application uh, used for a study of a cell behavior differentiation drug response and disease models so it's particularly valuable uh, valuable for skin related research including wound healing cancer research and uh, skin grafting so this is the all about of a raft method second method is grid method so in this method mainly a grid or a mesh is required so basically uh, is grid is made up of stainless steel or a nylon is placed in a culture dish and the grid elevated slightly above the pot, uh, bottom of the dish allowing it to air liquid air liquid interferes when a small amount of a culture medium is added so basically here air liquid interferes uh, interferes concept is applied okay so here you can see in this uh, diagram basically this is the grid okay and above this grid uh, mainly uh, tissue or any expand is placed and between the grid and a culture medium a space is there air liquid interferes tissue placement uh, small tissue expands are placed directly on the grid the positioning ensures that the tissue has access to both the nutrient from the culture medium below and air above which is important for oxygen exchange okay so another one important point is oxygen exchange so basically uh, from the bottom cultural uh, culture medium is there which provide nutrients and the above air is there so oxygen exchange that can be uh, form easier then cultural condition so the culture is maintained in a humidified in incubator with a specific temperature and a carbon dioxide level the medium is typically refreshed regularly to provide nutrients and remove waste products so, so this is the simplest uh, setup of a grid method now application so the grid method is used to study the behavior of tissues under uh, near physiological condition such as uh, in the development biology toxicology and disease research it allows for the observation of a tissue growth differentiation and a response to treatment over a time so this is the all about of a second technique organ culture on agar medium third organ culture in a liquid medium so basically here organ culture uh, will proceed to in liquid media so the liquid media consists of all of the ingredients except agar and when uh, liquid media are used so for support basically perforated metal goes or cellulose acetate as a raft or lens paper is used and this possibility provides a support fourth cyclic exposure to medium and a gas phase so first uh, durability is more basically uh, long term 4 to 5 months culture of human adult tissue then 2 uh, two to 8 eggs plants per dish attached at the bottom of the plastic culture dish and covered with a fluid medium and then dishes are enclosed in a chamber containing suitable gas mixture and a platform for a cyclic exposure, exposure of a medium and a gas so here you can see in the image basically here uh, enclosed chamber is there where uh, expands with medium is placed and here gas blender is there which provides all the gases 
like CO2 and to compressed air for gas exchange and after that uh, all the uh, remaining gases is flushed from the this way so this is the uh, assembly of uh, uh, our fourth method cyclic exposure to medium and a gas phase advantage so explant remain comfortable so physiological study remain easy and uh, also this method is easy to analyze and uh, interpret so application first testing drugs so mainly cult organ culture allows scientists to ensure to see how drugs affect specific organ and helping to ensure safety and effectiveness before testing on a humans then second studying organ repair researchers can observe how organ heal and regenerate which helps in developing treatment for a damaged organ this is also known as a regenerative medicine then understanding cancer by studying cancerous organ in a culture scientists can learn how tumor grow and taste new cancer treatment then for uh, biology development or learning about a development so organ culture helps scientists understand how organ form and develop which can be crucial for preventing birth defects uh, fifth stem cell research so it helps researchers see how stem cells can turn into specific types of organ cells which is important for a development uh, developing new therapies and then last one studying genes so scientists can manipulate genes within a cultured organ to understand their roles and effects on a health and a diseases so this is all about of application of organ culture here we completed our topic i hope you enjoying very well and got it very well thanks for watching and if you want to get uh, more videos regarding like this with simplest understanding so join with us and be a perfect biotechnologist thank you so much friends